John Stencil, Frank Bacon Machinery. Today we're going to talk about a machine we set up for a customer specific for ASTM C133, which is a standard test method for cold crushing strength and modulus of rupture of refractors. Uh, so right here you can see uh, we got it currently tooled up for modulus of rupture, MOR, which is a three-point bend test. This is a standard MOR brick that we're going to be testing. And then this is your standard brick for your uh, compression, which is the cold crush strength of this material. So uh, this machine was all built, remanufactured, and tooled up by Frank Bacon Machinery. This fixture, the ASTM C113 133 fixture MOR was all designed, engineered, and built by us. And uh, we got a world-class test system, best value in the marketplace. And we're going to show you how to do some MOR testing. Ready to run an MOR test? Here's our test sample. Here's our fixture. Everything's pre-aligned and centered. This is an articulating self-centering fixture where both sides have movement. So if you have any off-centeredness in your brick or your specimen, that is going to account for that. Basically, you insert your specimen into the fixture, adjust your hold down points, slide it in. Right now, we have a seven inch span based on the size of our test specimen. That is all called out in the C133 uh, procedure. Specimen is loaded, now we're ready to run our test. For this test, we are running at a test speed of 0.05 inches a minute. So it's very slow and we're taking this all the way till failure, which is usually a low drop off and then we should see a crack in the specimen. I got the MT Genius software already pre-set up for the ASTM C133 MOR testing. This is a three point bend test. So we got, it's a beam center. This is our specimen ID. We got a width, specimen width of four inches, a depth of two inches, and a span length of seven. It's gonna use that geometry and span length to calculate the modulus of rupture, which is a stress value given at the end of the test. And it's gonna give you a full graphical test report. Let me show you how it's done. Basically, I'm gonna zero the test, push start. We have this all set up automatic for a preload. So it's gonna come down Sense the part and begin the test. Right now we're at 260, 280 pounds in climbing. This is a go on till failure. Test is complete. It's going to automatically auto retract. And you can see right here, really small, is a crack. And that machine sensed the load and the failure point. We got a one page test report showing all our results, which a maximum load of 1206 and a maximum stress of 791.6 psi. Hey, we just switched over from our MOR fixture to our CCS, cold crushing strength fixture, which is a spherically seated compression fixture. Here's our specimen. It is a three by three by three cube, and it's ready for testing. Center it on your lower compression circles. We got our CCS pre-programmed, ready for testing. We got a specimen identifier. This is specimen number 209. Like I said, a three by three by three uh, cube. And we're gonna zero this down. I am gonna bring this closer down to the specimen. Ready to start our test? Push the play button.
Thanks so much for learning a little bit about ASTM C133. Um, I hope you enjoyed to learn a bit about this testing requirement and contact us if you have any tensile compression, fatigue, durability, or mechanical testing needs. We'll be happy to help you out.